So I'm now going to give you guys a slow version of how to do it. I'll also show you how to do multiple uh, parallel box plots next to each other. So the first thing you do is you need some data. So as you can see, I've got a list of numbers typed in Excel already. And um, the data represents the age of shoppers at Woolies, which is a supermarket in Australia. So what I'm going to do now is download a program called GeoGebra. Um, so hopefully you guys have that program. If not, just download it um, from Google. Okay, so once you're in GeoGebra, you're going to click View Spreadsheet. And this is where you're going to copy and paste the data from your Excel spreadsheet. So copy, select it all. So just shift, I mean, sorry, just hold down your mouse button and drag it downwards to highlight everything. And then you're going to press Control C to copy. And then you're going to go to GeoGebra inside the spreadsheet in GeoGebra, press Control V to paste. Okay, now you can um, make this spreadsheet a little bit smaller. And down the bottom where it says input, click on the text box and you're going to type in box plot square bracket. Now, the first property you're typing, um, I'm just going to leave it at zero first. I'm just going to have zero, one, and I'll explain to you what the zero and the one means in a second. And then I'm going to put in A1, 2, A14, right? A1, colon, A14. So what this means is the range of cells that you have put your numbers in. So you can see that the data starts at A1 and goes all the way down to A14. And that's why I type in A1 to A14. So now I'm going to press enter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize the window and I'm going to close the spreadsheet and I'm going to select this move graphics view button and then I can drag the graph around left and right by clicking on the background and dragging the mouse left and right and I, call, I can also move my mouse wheels to zoom out so use the scroll function on your mouse wheel to zoom out and you can see here that right now my box plot is stuck in the middle and it is on top of my X axis. So if you remember the command that we just typed, if you click on the input box again and you press the up arrow key, you will get you will get the command that you typed previously back onto the screen. Now, if you guys remember that first number we put in zero. If you type, instead of zero, if you type the number five, you can see what's going to happen is it's going to bring the box upwards five units. So the first number that you type in is actually how much you want to move the graph up and down, up and down the Cartesian plane, right? So that's what the number five represents. If you put in the number 10, for example, it moves it up by 10 units. So I can delete the other two that I don't need. And you can see on the left hand side, we have A, B and C. So you can get rid of A and B. Okay, so only C is remaining. Okay. Um, now we're going to talk about the second property. So press the up arrow key again. And you can see here the number one represents how wide you want your box plot to be. So if you put in number three, for example, it's going to make the box plot a lot wider. 
right three units wide so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, get rid of uh, the previous box plot that I drew and I'm going to right click on my box plot and click show label and that gets rid of the label that was there D equals 30 we don't need that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the um, snipping tool so go to the right on your Windows 8 click search click snipping tool and then I can click new and then I can drag the area that I want and then I can copy this and paste it into my Excel spreadsheet control V and you can resize the spreadsheet resize the graph as you want okay I hope this tutorial helps you guys see you next time